everyone, I'm Janet with Radiant Realty, brokered by EXP Realty, your Montana realtor. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and stay a while and don't be shy. I love reading your comments and answering any questions you might have. And if you are looking to buy or sell a property or home here in Montana, definitely reach out. I would love to hear more about your needs. So we are going to dive into our five minute Friday market recap for Flathead County this week. You might have noticed that I've been a little bit absent. We went on an international trip. We actually moved houses, which <laughs> I know the struggle well of packing and moving and the stress and all of that. So I definitely relate to you uh, when you call me and you're a little bit stressed out, whether you're buying or selling, I understand. So anyway, you should be seeing some more regular their videos so hit that notification bell so you get notified when those drop Fridays for market updates and Sundays for just fun things around the area Rebecca Farms has their horse event coming up I would love to do some coverage of that this year because I have yet to do that but it's a big and exciting event here and then along with some other outdoor activities for summer but let's go ahead and dive into our market recap for this Friday all right, so let's start up in Whitefish, Montana. In Whitefish, Montana this week, our most expensive home we have seen before. This is 405 Delray Road coming in at $40 million. Yes, you heard that right, $40 million. It's on the north end of Whitefish Lake and an absolutely stunning property. Again, if you wanna see any of these properties, there will be links in the description box below. Go ahead and click those and you can take a closer look. Our least expensive home in Whitefish, Montana this week is 320 Cougar Trail, and that one comes in at $468,000. All right, so in Whitefish this week, there are a total of 327 listings, 12 new listings, 105 price reductions, one open house, zero foreclosures, zero short sales, and the average price per square foot in Whitefish currently sits at $864. Okay, so let's go ahead and head on over to Columbia Falls, just east of Whitefish. Columbia Falls is located wonderfully between Whitefish and Kalispell, and then pretty close proximity to Glacier National Park. So in Columbia Falls this week, our most popular home is 3380 Trumbull Creek Road, coming in at $649,000. The most expensive listing is 271 Patriot Lane for $3,995,000. And the least expensive listing this week is 275 Columbia Meadows Drive for $394,990. Currently, Columbia Falls has 292 listings, nine new listings, 62 price reductions, zero foreclosures, zero short sales, and that average price per square foot in Columbia Falls sits at $436. So let's head on south to Kalispell now. And in Kalispell this week, our most popular home is 110 Wildlife Trail, listed for $999,900. Our most expensive listing is 100 Highway 206, for $6,450,000. And our least expensive listing this week is 225 Forest Hill Village, and that one is listed for $239,000. Kalispell currently has 510 listings, 30 new listings, 159 price reductions, zero foreclosures and short sales, and the average price per square foot in Kalispell sits at $401 this week. Okay, and moving right along, let's head on down to Big Fork. In Big Fork this week, our most popular home is 13817 Sylvan Drive. Again, I think this one has been on here before. Listed for 19 million, so that explains it. <laughs> but if you wanna check that one out, if you haven't yet, definitely click that link in the description box below. The most expensive home, can you believe it? That wasn't it. <laughs> 2225 Montana Highway 35 for $20 million, a million more. So you could also check that one out. And our least expensive listing in Big Fork this week is 185 Gulf Terrace Unit A. So that sounds like a condo or townhome type situation coming in at $349,900. Big Fork currently has a total of 169 listings, six new listings, 50 price reductions, zero foreclosures and short sales, and that average price per square foot in Big Fork currently sits at $689. So one more to go, let's head on over to the other side of the lake and check out Lakeside. 
And in Lakeside this week, our most popular home is 467 Conrad Point, listed for $6,950,000. The most expensive listing is 420 Deer Creek Road. Again, we've seen this one before. That one is listed for $9,495,000. And our least expensive in Lakeside this week is 150 Wood Acres Drive, listed for $399,500. And Lakeside currently has a total of 60 listings, three new listings, 24 price reductions, zero foreclosures and short sales. And the average price per square foot in Lakeside this week sits at $609. All right, that is it for this week. Thank you so much for joining me. If you found anything in here helpful or useful, please do give a big thumbs up. That really helps me out. Have an amazing week and I will see you next time. Bye.